New tonight, another step forward today in the push to restart the Palisades nuclear plant in Van Buren County. Fox 17's Walid Alamla reports after spending the day at the facility. Holtec introduced some new technology that will be coming to the Palisades plant in the form of its small modulator reactors, the first of its kind here in the U.S., but not everyone is on board with the idea. The agreement announced Tuesday is between Holtec Industries and Hyundai ENC. To secure our nation, we need to first secure our grid with firm power. For ourselves and our children, that power must be clean. The only answer is nuclear energy. Officials stressing that safety is a must. It is walk away safe. It's Fukushima proof. Every possible way a reactor could go out of control has been considered. But opponents of the plant in general aren't so sure. They're doing construction. They're laying pads. Um, there's a lot of environmental degradation going to go down during this restart. They are dumping hydrazine very toxic chemical goes into the lake. The company says the two small modulator reactors set to be placed at Palisades will produce nearly 640 megawatts of power. SMRs are what they sound like, nuclear reactors that are more compact. And I am told that that will eliminate the, the, eliminate the pollution that would be caused by 900 cars in the roads and byways of Michigan. So it's an enormous contribution to clean energy. Holtec touts the move as added clean energy, but Michael Keegan with Don't Waste Michigan thinks differently. And nuclear is not renewable. And it is not green. It's not green energy. And there are greenhouse gases associated. A lot of uh, fossil fuel goes into the front end in the mining, milling, processing of uranium and then the transportation, and then the security. But Holtec says the Palisades plant, and Michigan in general, was picked for a reason. Michigan had become a net importer in the course of it, and we had a solid workforce of union members throughout this state who were willing to come here. Having an operating staff, having a training platform, being able to look at a reactor pump or a vessel head, is hugely advantageous if you want to build a small modular reactor. Holtec hopes to have the plant up and running by the end of this year with ultimate plans for the SMR reactors to be going by 2030. In covert, Wadi Amna, Fox 17 News.